In the ten years that follow the Russian Revolution, advances in cinema technology and a desire to fill in the missing events of the revolution inspired Soviet filmmakers. As part of the plans to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the revolution in 1927, several films were made. One of them, by Vsevolod Pudovkin, dramatized the horrors of war and famine which had led up to the revolution. The experience of fighting on the Russian front in the First World War had been so shocking as to inspire the making of one of the most powerful anti-war statements in cinema history. Red riots had contributed to the fall of the Tsar in February 1917. The provisional government which took over from the Tsar had ruled from the Winter Palace in St. Petersburg and the people had hoped for freedom and peace. Kudovkin's film was joined by news films and other feature films which celebrated the revolution. The most exceptional of the 10th anniversary films, October, was made by Sergei Eisenstein. It ran into difficulties while being made because of conflicts within the Communist Party as to what story should be told about the revolution. One thing was certain, Lenin needed to be depicted in a powerful way. His return from exile to St. Petersburg in April 1917 was recreated by Eisenstein as a fictitious account of something which actually happened in great secrecy.
Because there was so little actual film of the capture of the Winter Palace, it was necessary to create new images and new drama. The 10th anniversary celebrations of the revolution would turn the reality of the capture of the Winter Palace into film myth. sequences were staged for the camera. The film's director, Eisenstein, wrote that between four and five thousand volunteers took part and that the government supplied the arms, uniforms and use of artillery for the film. We know that the seizing of the Winter Palace happened at night, almost without a struggle. But as the central event in the revolution, it had to become more glorious than this. So Eisenstein made it into the storming of the Winter Palace, in which the heroic Bolsheviks rise up against their corrupt rulers and seize power for the people. pictures have become the enduring images of the Russian Revolution. But we know that none of them shows what actually took place. Atmospheric lighting, dramatic camera work and the choreography of the actors reveal this film as a recreation of an event rather than reality. And yet they have shaped our view of how heroic the revolution was. The Study Guide price four ninety five includes an introduction to studying history using film and television, background information, programme based questions and extension activities, and a comprehensive filmography of the extracts and sources used in the programmes. To buy this guide, please write making cheques payable to Channel 4 Schools to this address. It's PO Box 100, Warwick, CV 34, 6TZ, or call 01926 433 